What's up guys? What's up? What's up? What's up? Welcome to a new video and welcome to the new video filming photography office top secret Rob Sambles photography location. What do you think of the background? Got all the blue with the fancy lights. We can make this different colours, you know, I can make it orange. Let me see, look, what do you think of the orange? Let me show you some orange. What do you think of the orange? Oh no, the orange isn't so good. We can do some green, want some green? A little bit of green. It's like it's Halloween still. Let's get the blue back, let's get the blue. There we go, we've got the blue. So we can use some different colours in the background, some more different stuff. You can see some of the stuff over here on the shelves is the same stuff that I had before in the office upstairs. We're going to do some more talking about this office, don't worry about that. I hope you like how it looks though. This is the first time experimenting with the lighting and everything, so we'll see how it comes together. Hopefully it will look better after I've had a little bit of practice. But today we are not talking about this office. Today we are talking about five accessories, non-photography related. So we've got no cameras, we've got no lenses, we've got no microphones, tripod stands. These are non-photography items that you should always, always have to hand in case you need them on a job. Five accessories you wouldn't think of. I think it's going to be a good video. Let's go. Okay guys, so before we get started on the topic of today's video, I'm going to ask you to do all the usual YouTube stuff. I'm going to ask you to hit that thumbs up button, like the video. It helps me out loads on this channel. It helps me a lot more than you probably realise, so please do take the two seconds. That is the only thing I will ask today in return for you watching and I'm sure enjoying this video. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Think about subscribing if you haven't already. Loads of other videos on my channel and loads more videos to come, which I'm sure you will enjoy. Don't forget to go check out my social media channels. Really big one for you guys today. Go check out my Instagram page at Rob Sample Sport. We're going to be doing a live Q&A on Instagram. Haven't worked out the exact date, but I'm going to announce it on Instagram. So make sure you follow me on Instagram. Check out my Instagram stories because that's where I will announce the live Instagram Q&A, which we will probably do sometime in the next kind of week, 10 days. It was good fun last time. We're going to do it again. So make sure you go check out that Instagram page. We've got another couple of Instagram pages worth checking out as well. I've got my at Scorchers Photog. That's a basketball specific one dedicated to the Surrey Scorchers. And we have my at Rob Sambles Photo, which is actually a bit more landscape and travel stuff. You can also find me over on Twitter using that at Rob Sambles Photo as well. Anyway, guys, enough of that chit chat. We are here to talk about five accessories that you probably wouldn't think of that I personally always have. I take to every photography job I do. You should as well. Let's have a look at them. We've got five items and we're going to count through, not in any particular order. We're just going to go through the five items and you can see what you think. I'm going to put some links in the description. I, I might not be able to find the exact item I have, but I will try to link to something on Amazon that's similar to the item I have. So if you want to go check them out for yourselves, you can. Um, um, go and have a look. Right, first item. What have we got? The first item. Now, you guys have actually seen this before. You saw this in my accessories pouch video. If you haven't already checked that one out, hit pause on this video. No, hang on. Don't hit pause yet because in a second, the link is going to come up right here so you can go check out that video. Hit pause on this one. Go watch that one. Or you know what? Watch this one to the end and then go watch that one afterwards. I'll link that one at the end of this video too so you can check it out if you want to go see it. But the first accessory that I will always, always have with me is my multi-tool. Now, mine actually specifically is a Swiss Army knife. It's even got my initials on it. I don't know if it's going to focus on that for you guys. Right in there, get my face to focus. RS, I got this ages ago. I think I got this for like my 18th birthday or something. So I've had this for 20 years. But this multi-tool has everything you need. It's got a knife. Safety first, always with the knife, of course, but really, really useful for getting into packs or chopping bits off. Really, really useful all the time. It has a whole array of different things like screwdrivers, which are really important for like tightening up tripod bits. Or In fact, you know what? I use this to tighten the head on the Joby Gorilla Pod that you guys are balanced on right now. So there you go. Use it all the time. There's scissors in here. There's a corkscrew. 
Maybe you have a tough day out photographing sports. You need your corkscrew for your wine, right? Don't forget your corkscrew. That's your multi-tool. Really, really useful. Probably one of my most used accessories, non-photography related, that I will always, always take with me whenever I go on a photography job. That's number one, the multi-tool. Let's have a look at accessory number two. Number two, we have got cable ties. Now I've got a massive pack of cable ties. I don't take this massive pack every time. I will take out like a little handful of maybe two or three. And I will always have these in my camera bag. Now I use these for all kinds of different things. One of the things that I use them for all the time is for attaching bits, right? So um, if ever I set up a remote camera, for example, I will quite often use this make it into a smaller loop. I use my multi-tool to chop off the excess and I'll use this to attach a safety cable onto like the shoulder strap attachments on my camera. You can use it to attach loose cables. Maybe you want to hold, um, you know, a clamp onto a post and give yourself some extra confidence that it's not going to come off. Cable ties, so useful all the time. Always grab, they take up no space at all, right? Literally no space at all. You can roll them up if you want to. Chuck three or four of those in your camera bag. Absolute no brainer. Really, really great accessory to have. And I have them on every single photo job that I go and shoot. Right, what have we got for accessory number three? A piece of old yoga mat. Now, hear me out on this one. Yes, this is literally a piece of old yoga mat. In fact, it's two pieces of old yoga mat that I have chopped into a circle and I have duct taped them together. I say duct tape, gaffer tape, or gaff tape, you guys call it. I found out um, on one of David Manning's videos just recently, you guys call this gaff tape in, in the States. We call it gaffer tape, but it's the same thing, I think, right? So a bit of gaff tape. That's another really useful accessory. I didn't put that in my list because everyone does that, right? Everyone adds gaffer tape to their list of useful stuff. I didn't want to put that in mind, but it is a useful one. So if you want to have a sixth one, gaffer tape it is. You know what? I'll link the sixth one in the description for you anyway. So there you go. It's not just five. There's a bonus sixth one for you. Back to the yoga mats. Why do I have this? Number of reasons. It gives me something padded that I can sit on. And what I've literally done is I've chopped out two circles, I've attached them together, and I've made myself like a cushion. It takes up no room at all. It sits in my camera bag. You can see how thin the profile of it is. I slot that into my laptop slot in my bag normally. Now, if you guys have one of the um, extendable stools like I use, they're really like solid plastic and they can become quite uncomfortable. And if you use Use that it gives you a little extra cushion looks after your rear end keeps you comfortable when you're out there doing a whole football game in the cold you can also use it if you haven't got a stall you know you might have a post or you could sit on your pelly case up on its end anything that actually isn't that comfortable to sit on use this and suddenly it becomes comfortable you can sit on it for a while so really useful accessory that i always take with me on every job that i do right what have we got accessory number four Headphones. Now, these aren't any fancy headphones. I, I do have some better headphones, like over-the-top ear ones that I use for computer editing and stuff like that. But these are just the simple, cheap headphones that came with my um, with my Samsung mobile phone, or cell phone, as you guys would call it there if you're watching in the States. Now, the reason I have these headphones, two reasons. The first one, some cameras, um, my 1DX, for example, will allow you to add voice notes to the photos. If you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry. Um, if you've got a camera that does it, you probably do know what I'm talking about. If you don't know what I'm talking about, maybe a camera doesn't do it. If it does, don't worry. I'll touch on that in a video at some point. But you can have your headphone in and you can add a voice note to your photo, right? So let's say, for example, you take a photo of a player and in the photo you can't see which player it is. And by that, I mean, maybe you can't see their number. And you're thinking, oh, later on when I get to editing that photo and I have to add a caption, I'm not going to know who it is. Well, chances are I can look out there on the pitch. I can see, oh, look, actually it's number four. So what I do is I have this attached into my camera. I can use the little microphone in here to add a voice note to the photo and say, that's number four. So literally when I'm back watching it later in Photo Mechanic, it will let you listen to the voice note. It says, hey, that's number four. And I can caption it appropriately and I know which player it was. So that's one useful, useful thing. The other one, which actually probably helps me more often than the first one, 
if you have the right type of headphones, these Samsung ones have the little like rubber earpiece on. They work really well to block out sound. Now, some sports events that you do, the noise is overwhelming. And in some cases, you don't notice it if you're sat like in the crowd watching the event. But when you're sat just in front of them, and for example, I did the um, Tottenham Bayern Munich game a few weeks ago, the big, um, they, they won 7-2, right, Bayern Munich. And I was sat right in front of the Bayern Munich crowd. And I'm talking, you know, something like 20,000, probably more, 30,000 Bayern Munich fans, six foot in front of them, me. So they're right behind me. And the noise was overwhelming. Some grounds are louder than others, right? Um, I've sat at Brentford and it's pretty loud. Um, I sat at Chelsea Roma and I was near the Roma fans and wow, that was loud. But Bayern Munich was probably one of the loudest ones I've done recently. Some of the events at Wembley are really loud too. And the noise can, can you almost feel like it's like it's, you know, caving in on you. Set of headphones like this to block out the sound. You put those in and suddenly it's like a whole nother world. It gives you that bit of calmness, tranquility. You can concentrate on your photos, concentrate on your editing and you don't feel like there's an avalanche of people about to trample you from behind. Whereas when there's that level of noise, you kind of feel on edge like the whole time you're doing the event. So I find those really, really help. So headphones, really useful accessory to take with you to every sports event. Maybe for those, they're more useful at like the bigger outdoor football events and stuff like that. Like I never really use those at basketball, for example, but I always have them with me because they're so small. In fact, I pretty much always have my headphones with me in my bag anyway. My last accessory, another really useful one. I have got a small fold out camping towel. Now this is one of those towels. If you guys aren't avid campers, um, I'm not an avid camper, by the way. Not so good at camping, Rob. Um, the Sandals family don't camp so often. I've got one of these absorbable camping towels. The reason I've got one of these ones is because they're much, much smaller. They fold up really, really tiny. Folds up into no room at all. I can almost fit that into like a lens slot in my bag. And it's really super absorbent. It's great. Loads of things I use it for. If it's raining, when I put my gear away, I'll dry it off with this. Sometimes if there's a sudden like downpour that you weren't expecting, middle of August, quick bit of tropical storm, I literally whack that like on top of my camera. Chances are after two, three minutes, the rain stops, I take it off and I carry on. It means I don't have to go through the effort of getting my rain covers out and, and all sorts like that. Sometimes you guys saw my video about how I like to set up pitch side. Sometimes my, uh, my 1DX with my 70 to 200 will be on the floor in front of me. If the floor is a bit muddy or a bit damp, I put this down on the floor and then the camera goes on top of it. It just means it's keeping it dry. It's not getting the moisture up from the floor. So really, really useful. I have this towel literally in my bag the entire time. Always got it with me. So there we go, guys. That's my five non-photography accessories that you probably wouldn't think of that I take to every single sports event that I shoot. I hope you found it interesting. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you like the new setup and the new background and everything. Please do hit that thumbs up button. Comment below. Let me know what you think of the ideas I come up with. Maybe you guys have got something that I haven't thought of. Comment below. Let me know what it is. Let's use this as a community. Let's share those ideas. I've taken loads of ideas from you guys when you've commented on my videos. So let's try and do that for each other, right? Comment any accessory below that maybe I haven't talked about here that you would always take to every sports event that you do. Don't say gaffer tape or gaff tape. That one's cheating. Let's get a different one. Guys, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys on the next video in just a few days. Thanks for watching.